Are you tired of EVs being priced like gold-plated unicorns? Well, guess what? A change is coming, and it's whizzing right out of the east. Yes, that's right, we're talking about an electric car that costs less than a semester of college. Elon Musk, the Tony Stark of our real world, has long fantasized about an EV revolution where electric cars aren't just a luxury, but a staple for everyone. But guess what? The future is here, and it's not brought to us by Musk. Welcome to the exciting era of the automotive industry, where a Chinese David is challenging a Goliath. This David isn't wielding a stone and sling, but a cost-effective electric-powered vehicle priced at a jaw-dropping 10 grand. This isn't just another electric car. This is a revolution on wheels, a revolution that costs less than most second-hand cars in the US. Picture this. The curtain lifts at the Shanghai Auto Show, revealing the BYD Seagull, an EV that might just be the tipping point in our transition from fossil fuels to electric power. Why, you ask? Because the BYD Seagull is no vanity project or show car. It's an honest-to-goodness everyday EV for the everyday person. It's a car for commuting to work, for Sunday drives to the beach, for picking up groceries or dropping off kids. It's a car that doesn't compromise on usability. Historically, electric cars have been pigeonholed into two categories, high-end luxury vehicles and compact city cars. But the Seagull refuses to be boxed in. The BYD Seagull is a breath of fresh air, a game changer, and a new normal. And it's not just the Seagull's specs that make it special, it's the driving force behind it. China's dual strategy of providing generous EV subsidies and imposing strict regulations on traditional car sales. This isn't a game for the faint-hearted. It's a fiercely competitive battlefield where manufacturers are vying for dominance, and one company stands out among the rest, BYD, an acronym for Build Your Dreams. They're not just dreaming big, they're making those dreams a reality with their most affordable EV yet, priced at a staggeringly low $10,000. Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a joyride back in time. We're going to traverse the electric highways of history to understand how we arrived at this present moment where BYD, yes, you heard it right, that mammoth of a Chinese giant, has just unveiled their latest marvel, the Seagull. You see, back in 1995, a bright-eyed chemist named Wang Xuan Fu decided he'd had enough of Japan monopolizing the rechargeable battery market. So he rolled up his sleeves, took a deep breath, and created BYD. Over time, this sprightly upstart, with a flair for energy and innovation, started to dabble in everything from solar panels to electric vehicles and more. Now, here's where things get interesting. In 2003, BYD decided to play with the big boys in the automobile industry. They bought out Chinchuan Automobile Company, a state-owned enterprise known for making cars since the late 80s. And with that, BYD Auto was born. Fast forward to 2022, and BYD has started flexing its muscles in the EV market. They upped their production target from 1.2 to 1.5 million units, showcasing their sky-high ambitions. And guess what? They delivered! According to the China Passenger Car Association, BYD sold a whopping 911,141 battery electric vehicles, or BEVs, in 2022 alone, second only to Tesla. And that's not all. They also sold 952,353 plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, or PHEVs, making them the top dog globally in this category. The secret sauce to BYD's success recipe? A delectable mix of diversified offerings, cutting-edge tech, cost competitiveness, favorable policies, and global expansion. You want compact? They got the Huan. You want style? Check out Song Plus. You want a bit of both? Meet the Dolphin and the Seal. But the cherry on top is that BYD isn't just about the cars. They make their own batteries, motors, and power systems too. BYD is the savvy shopper in a world of spendthrifts. They're playing smart with economies of scale and vertical integration, making their electric rides not just slick, but also affordable. They're not just fighting the good fight in China either. They're taking this show on the road, stretching their wings to Europe, Latin America, and Africa. And they're not just peddling electric cars, but buses and trucks, too. Since 2009, the Chinese government has been pushing the EV agenda, offering juicy subsidies and tax breaks, and even throwing in some license plate quotas to sweeten the deal. It's been like a decade-long Christmas for NEV manufacturers and consumers alike. But in 2016, China decided to shake things up a bit. 
Now, you might be thinking, whoa, what's the deal with phasing out those sweet, sweet subsidies? Well, the aim here is to spur competition and innovation and boost the overall quality of electric vehicles. China's not just cutting off the cash flow abruptly, though. They've got a plan. The government is tightening the ropes on technical conditions for NEVs to qualify for subsidies. More driving range, better energy efficiency, and denser batteries are the orders of the day. Not to mention, they're setting a price gap for passenger cars at about 300,000 renminbi. That's about 46,500 US dollars for our viewers across the pond. And just to add a cherry on top, local governments can't throw in any extra subsidies for NEVs that don't meet the federal standards. This petite powerhouse, a jewel from the stables of BYD Auto, one of the global titans in electric vehicle manufacturing, has been making waves since it was unveiled at the glittering Shanghai Auto Show back in April 2023. This compact marvel is already cruising at high altitude, with a staggering 10,000 pre-orders just within the first day of its grand reveal. Sitting pretty in the B-segment hatchback category, the Seagull is a member of the illustrious Ocean Series, a family that boasts siblings like the Dolphin and the Seal. This vehicle is built on the robust shoulders of BYD's E-Platform 3.0. Its heart is a single electric motor with an impressive 75 horses, or 55 kilowatts, under the hood, and 135 newton meters of torque to boot. Front wheel drive, a top speed of 130 kilometers an hour, and an adrenaline pumping 0 to 50 kilometers acceleration in a swift 4.9 seconds are just some of the features that make this car a stunner. The Seagull is powered by one of two BYD Blade battery packs, 30.08 kilowatt hour or 38.88 kilowatt hour. You might remember Elon Musk's dream of a cheaper Tesla that got grounded because of its insufficient range. Well, the Seagull is soaring high with a starting price of just around $10,800, offering a stylish and cost-effective solution to urban commuting and delivering a commendable range of up to 252 miles or 405 kilometers on one full charge. Now, let's delve into some groundbreaking technology. The Seagull comes equipped with an innovative sodium-ion battery system, a clear departure from the lithium-ion norm. Sodium-ion batteries are the new kids on the block, boasting lower costs, greater thermal stability, and superior performance in chilly conditions. The only downsides? A slightly lower energy density and slower charging times. But hey, every hero has a weakness, right? The masterminds at BYD have been meticulously working on this technology since 2012, aiming to cut the cord from lithium resources and boost their battery prowess. Their battery division, FinDreams, is the powerhouse behind this cutting-edge technology. Their game plan? A hybrid model combining sodium ion and lithium ion cells to strike the perfect balance between cost and performance. The Seagull is all set to swoop into the Chinese market, ruffling the feathers of rivals like the Tesla model. Depending on the battery pack you choose, you can expect a range of either 305 kilometers or 190 miles, or 405 kilometers or 251 miles. These figures might seem a tad optimistic to some, but remember, they're based on the CLTC standard, which is the preferred choice for Asian manufacturers. Rumors are flying around that BYD is looking to release a sodium ion battery variant of the Seagull later this year. If true, this could mean an even lower price tag, but potentially a slightly shorter range, given the lower energy density of sodium batteries compared to their LFP and NMC counterparts. Even with all the bells and whistles, the top-tier Seagull comes with an attractive price tag of just $13,000. As for when you can get your hands on one, the first deliveries are expected to hit Chinese roads later this year. At this time, BYD hasn't unveiled any plans to introduce the Seagull to other markets, like the US or Europe. But who knows, with the winds of change blowing, we might just see the seagull take flight across the world soon.